Just finally, let me round out the conversation and ask you about China. It feels as though there is a policy dilemma facing the mainland market at this stage, whether they just accept slower growth or whether they fuel some of the debt issues trying to, to keep up with the old pace of growth. What do you think happens this year? What will the approach be from the Chinese and what should they be doing? Well, China is uh, facing some re really difficult short-term and long-term challenges. Short-term, the property sector still needs fixing. High level of local government debt needs attention. On the longer-term side, demography is changing. And China is also experiencing some loss of confidence in this new environment they find themselves uh, in. Uh, how are they going to approach it? Their determination is to uh, be very clear around a reduction of growth rates in a way that doesn't undermine social stability, meaning that they will continue to use policy space to make sure that growth doesn't dip too fast. Ultimately, what China needs are structural reforms. Uh, to continue to open up the economy, to balance the uh, growth model more towards domestic consumption, meaning create more confidence in people so they don't save, they spend more. All of this would help China to deal with what we are predicting in the absence of reforms would be a fairly significant decline in growth rates uh, going under 4%. So what has worked elsewhere, where, what we want everywhere, structural reforms to underpin growth.